Today I'm going to show you how to set up your ZUM or newly renamed Zomin XRP wallet. It's an easy step-by-step -step tutorial which will show you how to set it up, how to fund your wallet, and add XRPL tokens. Let's get started. First you'll go to settings in the bottom right hand corner and then you'll click accounts. And then you're going to add an account. Now whenever you add an account you can import an existing account or create a totally new one. Importing an existing account would mean you already have the seed phrase and you already have a wallet. But in this case, we're going to make a new one. You're going to see the letter A with six numbers underneath of it and B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Write down every single one of these. Write whatever your numbers are right there and keep them in a safe place. This is your seed and you're going to have to re-enter it. So again, write it down and keep it safe. Do not show anyone. So I'm writing down right now, for example, A in that row of numbers, B633163, and then I'm going to go on through every single letter and set of numbers. Once you have all of your secret numbers written down, go ahead and select Done. Here you're going to confirm all of the numbers that you've already written down. So first you'll confirm the numbers of row A. Simply use the plus sign and minus sign to get to where you need to go with the numbers and press the little arrow to the right once you've selected the right number. So I'm putting in my numbers and then I'm tapping that little arrow button. If you make a mistake, just click on the left arrow button and do this for every single set all the way down to H. You may need to pause this video while you proceed. Once you've confirmed all of the numbers and entered them correctly, you can go on to the next step. Simply copy your address, which is your public address, and hit next. Activation, yes, understand. I highly suggest that you sign in with your face ID or enter a passcode. This is an extra layer of security and you want to make sure that you have everything extremely secure whenever you're dealing with your digital assets. Name your account and you're all done. So you'll click let's go and then we'll go back to the main menu. When you click the home button on the bottom left, you're gonna see that it says demo. This is what I named this wallet. So you'll see the name of whatever wallet that you've chosen. And now we need to fund this account. So we're gonna copy the address. For this example, I am using BitTrue, but you're going to want to paste your address from your Zum wallet into the XRP withdrawal, withdrawal address box, and then you're going to enter in the amount. The minimum here on BitTrue is 22 XRP, so I'm going to enter in the minimum, and then I'm going to enter in the PIN that I've already set up for my BitTrue account. Once I have my PIN entered, I'm going to withdraw my XRP, so I'll hit that yellow button. And this is pretty much the same for all different exchanges. They all have a pretty similar withdrawal function. And sometimes there's a tag here for the Zum wallet. There is no tag, so you're going to want to make sure that no tag is entered. Here I'll enter my 2FA information. In this case, I am getting email verification and Google authentication. So perform those steps and hit confirm. And now you have successfully activated your Zum or Zomin app and your wallet is now funded. You have to have at least a minimum of 10 XRP to fund your wallet. So just keep that in mind. And also each trust line to add a token is 2 XRP. Now, if you delete this trust line or delete the wallet, you will get that XRP back. So let's go add a token. Next, you'll go to xrpl.services, and then you're going to select the tab that says XRPL tokens. Once you've selected that, you can type where the little magnifying glass is and type in the ticker of the token that you're looking for. In this case, I'm just going to select Sologenic, and I clicked the set trust line link it is the yellow underlined link. And then you're going to see this QR code come up and it says to open in the XM app. So you'll open it and then you're just going to swipe to accept.
there's going to be a warning, just go ahead and accept, enter in your passcode again, or your face ID will scan, and boom, your trust line is added. You'll see your new token trust line down at the bottom, and you have successfully added your token. So now you know how to set up your SUM wallet, you know how to fund it, and add trust lines. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.